Hi all, in this video, let's see how to write a polyfill for the string repeat method. So this is a common JavaScript interview question. So let's understand first what is this string repeat method and how it works and what all the edge cases. So if we understand that well, we can write our own polyfill in all, by covering all these scenarios. So first let's understand what is the string method, this repeat method. So if you given a string like this, and if you say repeat, so this is the string method and this is known as a count. So firstly, this repeat method, what does it do? It will not modify the original string. It will be constructed and it, it will it is going to create a new string for us. And what it does, it will take the help of this count and it will do this number indicates how many times it needs to concatenate this string. Okay, it, it is going to return us a new string. It will not, not modify the original string. With the help of this count, it is going to calculate, concatenate this string that many times. So that is the reason this is going to be our output. So this is the basic working of the string repeat method. So there are few scenarios like what if I give zero? Okay, what if I not give any string here? Okay, so in these scenarios, you are going to be getting a empty string like this. And this repeat, this parameter is a count. This should be positive. This should be from zero to infinity and less than infinity. So if someone gives a negative number like this, it will be getting a range error. So we all, we also can handle this type of things as well in our polyfill method. So if someone gives a pointers like this, like 3.5, so this would be converted into a string. Like it is converted. If you give 3.5, it is converted as a three and it is repeated three times like this. So all these are few cases with the repeat string method. Okay, now let's write our own polyfill covering all these scenarios. First, let's do like, uh, let's cover the main scenario. Let's give like two and it needs to repeat two times. So firstly, let's cover the main purpose. Okay, later on we can uh, do all the edge cases as well. So first thing is like, we am taking string dot prototype dot my repeat. So I'm writing my own, I'm writing my I'm attaching this method like my repeat. Okay, this is a method I'm going to give. So this is a function. It takes the count. So how many times you need that many times I need to. So this my repeat is our function. We are attaching this function to the string dot prototype. Now, whatever the string we use in our application, that string can happily use this my repeat method. Okay. That is what the polyfill mean. We we can attach this to methods or properties can be attached to this prototype so that it can be used by all the strings which we are using in our application. Now, whoever uses calls this my repeat, they need to pass the count here. And that is what here in the first method we are passing ABC and my repeat two. Now in the count, you'll be having two. Fine. Now let's write the logic for this. What I'm taking is I'm taking let result. Okay, this is a string. Okay, now next what I will do is I will take a while loop. I will take this count. How many times I need to concatenate? So here you said two. It means I need to two times I need to concatenate. I mean, I need to take this string. And again, I need to concatenate the same string with this string. So it means two times I need to concatenate. For that, what I'm doing in the result, I'm storing this string. And how I can get this value? So yes, of course, you're calling this my repeat method and whatever you pass here, that is catched by this count then how I can get this value. So whenever you are calling this method, my repeat, and you're passing this, whatever you are calling with the help of this. So this is known as here the context. This is the context. No, you can get the value by this. Okay, whoever calling this method. So that method value. So you're calling this ABC. This string is calling this method. Now this string becomes the context to this function. So now in this, what we'll be getting is in this we'll have ABC. So this is what we'll be having in this. So that's the reason what we are doing this and we are concatenating same this and we are storing that value in the result. And anyways, we need to decrement this count so that at one point we need to break this while loop. Okay. And now the end result will be having in the result. Now let me return back the result here. So this is the basic functionality of the polyfill of repeat method. Okay, We'll be covering all these scenarios as well. But firstly, I started with this. Now I'm passing it as a two 
and I am passing this string. Okay, now let's see what would be the output. So let me show the output. See, ABC space, ABC space. So this is what I got. It means the basic functionality is working. Now let's add the sum of the edge cases. Okay, fine. Now I'm calling a string and if I'm not passing any of the thing, so it means that this, if this is null, so it means I'm directly calling this function, my repeat function, then this is null, it becomes null. So in this case, I need to throw an error. So because if this is not there, so whatever we are going to do here, it will break. So that's the reason we are checking if this is not there. When this becomes null, when we are directly calling this method, not a string, when we directly call this method, then this becomes null. So in these situations, we are throwing our type error. So this is how you can throw your errors. Okay, throw is a keyword. You can you are you throwing that error. So now you need to say can't convert. So because you can't convert, you can't use this methods. Okay, we can cannot convert. Okay, some message whatever you want to throw, you can throw that. This is the first scenario, and the second scenario is like so. Firstly, we need to convert this count made be string. So someone can send the count. It can be string or of any type. But the first thing is you need to convert this count. This count value should be converted into number. So that is what you have done in this. With help, you can do this with a parsint or you can just use this plus symbol before this count. Now in this count, you'll be having a number. Okay, because you need to play with numbers here. Okay, because in the while loop, you need to play with the number. So that's the reason we are converting this count into a number. So now next scenario, what we need to cover is the if the value is negative number. So for example, you you you're going to pass a negative number, okay, minus one. What you need to get a range error you need to get because this should be the repeat method should be from zero to positive infinity, less than infinity. But if you send negative number, what should happen? So if the count is less than zero, it means it is a negative number. If someone passes a negative number, what we need to do? Again, we need to throw an error new now we need to throw an range error because in the real repeat function it is throwing a range error so the same we are going to throw here you can pass whatever the value like whatever the text you want here you can pass like count must be non-negative number so like this you can pass a relevant thing okay now we have covered up the negative scenario i mean if someone passes the negative value we could able to cover it up if someone passes an infinity value, okay, so that also we need to cover because the value should be in between zero and two infinity. So if someone passes infinity, so then also we need to showcase this range error, the same error, but we need to write the count must be less than infinity. This is what we need to say. Now we have covered a couple of negative scenarios as well. So now finally, so what we are going to do, if someone passes a value like 3.5, what we need to do, what the repeat method did, it has repeated, concatenated three times. It means you need to convert this as a normal number. Okay, that is what we are going to handle now. The count equal to math dot floor. With the help of this floor, what we are going to do is, again, I'm giving the count here. So now, we are whenever someone gives an input like decimal like 3.5 it becomes 3 so that is what we are doing here we are converted the 3.5 or 2.8 something all the decimal values into a normal value if you give 2.8 here it becomes 2 so that is what we have did here now the last condition is if someone says so this means the value like uh, abc here in this case if you are not passing if the length of this is 0 Okay, it means you're not passing any string. Okay, then what should be returned? If you give a number of repeat also, for example, let me take this copy paste. So if I'm not passing anything here, okay? And if I say whatever the number here, it becomes empty. It should return empty like this, okay? And if I pass something here, and uh, if I pass ABC here, and if I pass nothing, there is no number also, then the return should be empty. So that is what we need to handle here. So now, if the length of the path string is zero, or if the count, if I give the negative uh, zero count, what is happening here? I have given a zero. 
ABC I'm giving and I'm giving a zero. Then what I got an empty string because repeat is going to repeat you, give you a new string and it is trying to concatenate this with these many times, but it is zero. That's the reason it is going to return you back an empty string. So what we are going to handle that scenario. If the count is equal to zero, then what we are going to do, we need to return back an empty string. So this is what, if the string which you are passing is empty, it means the length is zero or the count is zero, then you're going to return back an empty string. So now in this case, we have covered up all the scenarios. If you're calling directly the method, it means that this becomes null, then you should say the appropriate type error. We are converting that into a number and we are checking if this is a negative number, we'll throw this range error. If it is equal to infinity, we'll th throw a range error and we are converting this and all the negative numbers. So this scenario is to convert the decimal like 2.822. So that is what we are converting. That is what we are trying to do here. That's what we are trying to achieve here. The main logic is very simple. So you need to take a string. You need to concatenate that string that many times. That many times is a count and you need to decrement that count. We have taken this loop and you're going to return back the result. Okay, if you are at this point, what does it mean? You could able to all these pa or past. All these are the cases which we are checking for the edge cases. If this is the case, you will be throwing the error or you will be throwing an empty result like this. So this is about the polyfill. So I hope we have covered all the scenarios. If you give something like this, like one divided by zero, this also will, we are going to get a range error because this is an infinity. This becomes an infinity. One divided by zero becomes an infinity. And now at this point, it is going to return this value. So that's the reason that is also a range error. You'll be getting, see here, you can see a range error here as well. So all these scenarios will help us. So let me uncomment all these things. Okay, let's see the output. Let me go back. So, okay, at the 41 line, I think I'm missing something. Yep, I'm missing this. Okay, fine, let's go back. So first one, we got it. And second one, count must be, must be non-negative value. So it means we have given a negative. That's the reason you got it, that error. So I'm commenting it. So let's see for zero. Okay, let's see for the zero again. Now we got zero. For zero on the 39th line, you got an empty string. Okay, and later on for 2.8, you got two times. Okay, and the last, it is showing that an error because it is must be less than infinity because this one divided by zero becomes infinity. Okay, got it. We have covered all the edge cases along with the basic functionality of the repeat method as well. Hope you understand this method and this will helpful uh, this will help you for to solve this polyfill of the string repeat method in the interviews. Okay, please subscribe for the channel for more videos. Thank you.